Well, here we are in Tonopah, Nevada, and we are at Audison's Turquoise Shop. Uh, Audison's owns several turquoise mines in the area, and they offer tours and the ability to dig in the tailings piles of their turquoise mines. All right, and here we have, standing at the counter, go ahead and introduce yourself. Dean Audison. As Dean, all right. Uh, a couple of questions about, can you give us a uh, quick rundown on what is entailed in a tour and a, uh, a dig? Yeah, what we do is we go for three hours. Uh, we all meet right here at the store. And uh, we go for three hours, you get everything that you find. Uh, children 12 to 18 are, or 12 to 18 are half price, 12 and under are free. And the kids usually do better than the adults. Well, they're, they're shorter, they're closer to the ground, and they can yeah, see they things <laughs> quicker. Same thing applies to gold props, if you yes. believe me, right? We spend three hours digging. Uh, we take you usually where we commercially mine. Mm -hmm. And then we come back here to the store, we go through your bags, we pick your three or so best pieces out and grind them off for you to give you an idea of what you have. Mm -hmm. If you prefer to have any jewelry made, uh, my daughter does uh, local custom work. So uh, she does pretty much wholesale price. Mm -hmm. First couple of years we've taken over 2,000 people a year. Slacked off a little bit this year at the economy, but a lot of return customers. So there we go. So everybody's happy with the turquoise they yes. get. Yes. All right. Now I understand that you can't actually go into the mine because of uh, safety concerns and insurance we concerns. Yeah, we don't allow you into the hole or the high walls. Right. Uh, because of safety. Uh, there's plenty in the in the tailings. We probably miss 40 percent or so the way we mine. Yeah, well, you're chasing the, the large veins, and, yes. and basically part of the overburden you are putting in your tailing piles contains a lot of turquoise. Yes. Outstanding. Well, that's that's a plan. We're going to take a quick look here at some of the turquoise uh, here. Oh, uh, can you uh, tell me about the other mines you own? Now, uh, this is a Royston well, mine we're talking about. This is Royston. There are several different claims there. Mm -hmm. uh, we own approximately 20 mines. We've staked area in this country. Outstanding. Of the fact that there's very little natural American turquoise uh, left over this by the hub of the United States for more natural. Okay, so 20 mines, and uh, say if I wanted to go visit one of the other mines, could I do that also? We don't really do uh, paid digs on the other mines. Uh, Royston's big enough and it accommodates the, the amount of people we get, mm -hmm. so we pretty much stay there you know, through the months. So, uh, April through October. Okay, so since it's July, it's going to be a tad hot out there, I'm sure. A little bit. We should be getting in the 80s and 90s. Okay. So not real bad. All right. Now, can you tell me if there is uh, shade available out there? Uh, not really. Not really. So better bring an umbrella bring or a uh, umbrella or, or, uh, parasol or something, yes. right? Okay, all right. And you got to bring your own water, bring your own digging tools? You can bring your own digging tools. We, we offer uh, garden rakes. Because everything's loose for you to be digging. Mm -hmm. We don't provide uh, hammers or not because if somebody put their eye out or something. We don't want to be responsible for that. Right. Okay. If you have your own digging tools, that's you know that's up to you. Right. Okay. All right. Now, uh, just basically, how does the dig progress? You, I understand you uh, allow one bucket of turquoise rough. We actually per give you about a three-gallon uh, sack. Okay. And you, you you can take all the garden rock you want. Uh, most people that go the first time come back with a sack pump full, and a lot of it isn't. They, it's just I can tell them a hundred times, but it's till they did it. Yeah. The next time they come, they got probably a third of the sack. They got a lot better. A lot quality. better quality material, yes. right? Okay. Well, see again, that's uh, the experience factor coming it in is. there, right? Yeah. I was digging garnets at Garnet Hill yesterday, and did okay, right? But it would have been nice to have somebody along to say. Okay, this is the rail light you look for. Look for the bugs and things like that. Don't uh, just randomly run around and start picking up rocks. <laughs> right, and we're right with you all, all the time we're there. We show you, we help as much as we can. Okay. Uh, basically, that's just about what, you know, what we go through. Great, all right. Uh, is the turquoise in the case here The uh, from, from your mines? Yes. Okay, I'm going to... Try and get around the reflection here in the glass. All right, uh, this is a very, very nice quality turquoise. 
good matrix on there. Now you got some stuff that's really, really green there, right? That's actually turquoise. Okay, and that is from uh, which mine? Royston. That's from the Royston also. Royston's okay. known for its greens, blue greens. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Where we'll be going tomorrow, Tiffany's in New York mined it in 1916. Uh -huh, His so. house is still standing. Ah, all right. Okay, now I notice we've got white buffalo over here. We own the white buffalo mine. All right, now the white buffalo, uh, I was under the impression that white turquoise wasn't really turquoise. It, was, it isn't. It's verisite or something no, like that? No, it runs with the turquoise. This uh -huh. is the only known deposit in the world. It actually is... Uh, 98% calcite and 2% quartz. Okay, The right. calcite is crumbly. Uh, so it looks more like a uh, member of the howlite family or something like well, that. Well, right? it isn't actually howlite. It's a lot yeah. harder and well, a lot I, more I, quality. Yeah. yeah, I'm just going from that. Too. But this is some beautiful, beautiful stones. All right, <clears throat> let's go over here. Let's introduce Donna, all right, on the video. All right, this is Donna Otteson, and she... Runs the shop and probably gets out there and digs. what can you say? Uh, <laughs> digs, right? I was going to say supervisor. more more like dude wrangling out there, or <laughs> dude miner wrangling. All right, and let's see what we've got in this case. This is the white buffalo. This is all the white buffalo. Yes. There's some pretty pieces there. Yes. Boy, look at that. All right, that is absolutely stunning. Nice black matrix there. That is very very Isn't pretty. Isn't that cool? Uh oh. That's okay. You can talk. All right. yeah, My wife just pretty. came in. She yeah. saw jewelry and immediately raced across the street and into the store. All right. And when you talk there about the halite, mm -hmm. this is all the imitation white buffalo. This is acrylic, just like fake fingernails are made out of. Exactly. Mm -hmm. all right. This is halite, which halite is very common, mm -hmm. um, very soft. That's about a 50 cent stone. Right. And this is the plastic and version that is of it. Plastic. Mm -hmm. All right. So they're. Mm -hmm. Are imitation stones out there, so yes. my viewers should probably be very careful when they're buying white turquoise, mm -hmm. right? That's it. Okay, but that's mm -hmm. the real stuff right there. Yep. And you can really yeah. tell the difference. Yep. All right. Yeah. Well, we're looking forward to going on the dig tomorrow. All right. And, whoops, she's got more goodies Well, here. this is this is why they have nicknamed it the white turquoise. Uh -huh. We actually mine turquoise in the same place with it. Yeah, okay. And that's why it has become known as the white the white turquoise. Okay. Um, you can see on that stone, yeah. there is actually, let me kind of spin it around here to get a little better light. Mm -hmm. All right, there is actually turquoise right there mm -hmm. on the corner, but also a seam of the white turquoise inside. All right, okay, very nice. And this is some of the turquoise from the same same right. mine. Same mine, the Royston mine. Mm -hmm. All right. This oh. is actually the white buffalo mine. So, oh, that's the white buffalo mm -hmm. for the white turquoise and the... Uh, right. Okay, now, does the white buffalo also have that nice dark matrix turquoise, turquoise right yes. there? Yes. Oh, and boy. we call this the Black Hills Web. Yeah, that is very, yeah. very interesting. And this comes from the same area as the white buffalo. Uh -huh. So you, that's why you can see the black host rock right. is, is the same. Okay. That's and just, that's now, where it got its nickname, what, white turquoise. What is that black host rock? It is a chert, a black chert. A black chert, mm -hmm. okay. So tomorrow at the Royston, we're going to be looking for what kind of host rock? A kaolin shell. Kaolin, K-A-O-L-I-N? A rhyolite. And rhyolite. Yeah. Okay, all right. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right, well, hey, this has been very informative. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let us say thank you to Donna. You're welcome. Okay. And thank you, thank you for all your information. Mm -hmm. And look for yourself on YouTube.